My name is Martha Moore, and I teach at WMU Cooley Law School, uh, and I'll be receiving the Straker Bar Association Trailblazers Award next month. And this is an award that's given to people in the legal community that are considered trailblazers. And frankly, there are a lot of people that are deserving of this award, so I'm really humbled to receive it. I am privileged to work with the great faculty, and I really mean it. I mean, we get along, we're like a family, and my colleagues, I can walk next door, I can walk three doors down, and they've all excelled in their uh, respective fields. I mean, so I really feel privileged to have been uh, uh, awarded this uh, prestigious award. Well, another thing we uh, stress here at WMU Cooley is service, community service. So we spend a lot of time in the community doing community service. And I, and I love that because we're training our students to give back to the community. So once you, you, know, you get your law license, you need to give back. And students do that on a regular basis. Ethics and community service are so important. Just based on my background, uh, I spent 10 years at the Attorney Grievance Commission prosecuting bad lawyers. I mean, so we don't want our students to go down that road. Uh, I mean, so we want students, we want this to be a training ground of how to become an ethical lawyer. And the really good lawyers, I mean, they go beyond uh, just going out and making a living and making money. Uh, they give back to the community. I mean, here we want to train good citizen lawyers. We want our students to be not only good lawyers, but good citizens. We want them to invest in the community, give back to the community because Naturally, lawyers are leaders. I mean, people look up to lawyers to lead, not just in their professional lives, but in the community, uh, in their personal lives as well. One of the things I'm really proud of about our law school is that we were awarded the ABA's uh, Gambrel Award, which is an award that's given to a law school that touts the highest principles of integrity and professionalism and ethics. I am so proud of that. Uh, we feel strongly about ethics and integrity here. As a matter of fact, with each orientation, we have a professionalism program where we bring in lawyers and judges from the local community, lawyers and judges with good reputations for integrity and honesty and professionalism, and they sit down with our students at orientation before their very first law school class, and they talk to them about the importance of integrity and professionalism. And our dean, Dean Vestran, gives a lecture on why ethics matters to incoming law students. So we really feel good about that here at our law school. One of the, the reasons why it's so easy for me to encourage students that they can be successful is based on my own uh, meager beginnings. So I grew up on a farm. Uh, my, my father was a minister. We didn't have a lot. I came from a family of 11, and I was the first person in my family to become a lawyer. So I know with hard work and dedication that you can be successful because that's what my parents uh, told us, that if we work hard, we could do this. And so I, I can encourage these students because I was encouraged, and I know that they can be successful. And so I'm born and bred in North Carolina, a farmer's daughter. Uh, uh, I went to law school at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. You know, I came to Michigan and I went to work for the Attorney Grievance Commission, prosecuting lawyers and then forming a law practice, uh, defending lawyers. Uh, so I've done a lot of things uh, that I never thought I could do. Uh, so it's very easy for me to encourage other students that with hard work, that's what I learned from my father, hard work. There are no shortcuts, hard work and dedication that you can be successful. And so I, I'm really privileged to be at this law school uh, and to work with such great people. They love coming to work. I love my colleagues. I love students. Uh, it's a privilege to be here.